Paul Academy. Always with you. Hello, my dear students. Welcome to this online video lecture on fluid mechanics. So, in the previous session, we have started with enough fluid statics, and in that, we have discussed the very important definitions, and also we have derived the equation for the the center of pressure for vertical plane surface as well as horizontal plane surface submerged in the liquid. Now, in today's session, we'll going to discuss the one more very important derivation that is a uh, inclined plane surface submerged in the liquid. So, without wasting much time. Let us begin with the today's session. So one more very important dear students, uh, as I already said in the previous session also, please take a pen and paper and note down the steps as I go on solving the steps continuously. And you can note down if I tell any explanation, you can note it down so that it will be very e useful when you start doing the same uh, derivation on your own, on your own or even you are practicing the derivation. So it would be very useful. So please take a pen and paper and keep with you. Now let us consider a plane surface of an arbitrary shape immersed in the liquid in such a way that it makes an angle of theta with a free surface of a liquid as shown in this figure. So this is a figure. So this is a plane surface. Now this is a main surface. Okay. This is a main surface which makes an angle of theta with a free surface of a liquid. So this is how it will be looking when the surface. So this is a free surface of a liquid. Now it is inclined like this. It is inclined at a certain angle. Now let A, that is A is the total area of an inclined surface. That A is a total area of this inclined surface. So in that draw we have drawn. So this is an inclined area. Now the H bar is the depth of CG from the inclined area. It is a H bar is a depth or from the free surface. It is a distance from the H bar that is center of gravity to free surface of an liquid. Similarly, H star, H star is the H star is the distance from the center of pressure to the free surface of an liquid. So it is a distance from the center of pressure to free surface of an liquid. And theta is an angle of inclination of this plane surface made with a free surface of a liquid. Now, let the plane of a surface if produced to meet the free surface of a liquid at O. So here you can see this one at O. Then O and O. So this line, this O, o and O axis. Sometime in some textbook they have used O and O dash. So even you can consider that also. So O and O O is the axis perpendicular to the plane of a surface. Now here you can see this is a perpendicular to the plane of the surface. Now let Y bar. So let Y bar is a distance of center of gravity, center of gravity from the O O surface or O O axis. Here you can see this. This is a Y bar. This is a distance from center of gravity to the O, o axis. Now similarly, Y star is a distance of center of pressure. So it is a distance of center of pressure that is Y star from the O, o axis. This is a O, o line or O, o axis. Okay. Now H star is the distance of center of gravity from the free surface of a liquid. So it is a distance between the free surface of liquid to center of pressure. H bar is the distance between the free surface of a liquid to the center of gravity of a plane surface. Now Y bar is a distance from the center of gravity to OO axis which is drawn perpendicular to the plane of a surface and similarly Y star is a distance from the center of pressure to OO axis or OO dash line. Now let us consider an elemental strip of an area dA at a depth h from the free surface of a liquid and at a distance y from the axis of OO. Now here you can see this is a y and which is at a distance of h. So it is a distance of h from the 
free surface of an liquid and it is at a distance of an y from the oo axis this is a elemental strip here you can see this one okay now the pressure acting on this surface the general pressure will be so that is p is equals to rho g into h so this is the equation where rho is a density of in a fluid g is a gravitational constant h is a height from which the elemental strip is there to the free surface of in a liquid now the pressure force that is df on this elemental strip or this elemental area it is done it is calculated by using a df is equals to p into area of in a strip now p is already know that is pressure we have calculated that is rho g into h and da is a elemental area da is an elemental area which is already have stated here so d is a elemental area now the total pressure force acting on this elemental or this whole surface now the pressure force acting on this whole surface will be equals to integration of rho g h into da so this is a force so it is a integration of rho g h into da so that is a total force acting on this surface so this is a total force acting on the surface which is inclined at an angle of theta that is rho g h into da now from this figure from the observing this figure i can have a based on the relation between the sine relation sine angle relation that is a sine theta sine theta will be equal to this is a theta here you can see this one sine theta will be equal so it is a opposite side by hypotenuse sine theta is a opposite side by hypotenuse so what is this opposite side that is with respect to h if i consider this is a h here is there so it is a h by y similarly h bar divided by y is a hypotenuse and similarly h star divided by y star will be equals to sin theta now h if i if i if i want to know the h so i should have to cross multiply this y into sin theta so this is a h is equals to y into sin theta let us substitute this h in the previous f equation that is f is equals to rho g h into da so in that one if i substitute h as in a y into sin theta so this is a equation that is f will be equals to integration of rho g into y sin theta into a now again sin theta and rho g i will take it outside so the left out term will be y into da so that is y is a distance of this elemental strip from the oo axis and the da is the area of this elemental strip now this y into da is nothing but the a in, into y bar it is a y into integration of y into da will be nothing but it is a equals to area into y bar what is a y bar it is a distance from the free surface of an liquid to center of gravity it is a center of gravity now where the y is a distance already i have stated here now from this f i will just rewrite it into f will be equals to rho g sin theta y bar into a so i have replaced this integration of y into da by a into y bar now from this referring this figure so this h bar can be written so instead of y bar i can write y bar into sin theta based on this sin relation i have already stated this y h bar sin h bar y bar is equals to sin theta now here i have sin theta into y bar so based on this one i can replace this y bar sin theta as an h bar so the f will be equals to so f will be equals to rho g a into h bar so the same equation we have obtained in the previous conditions also that is f force will be equals to rho g a into h bar so this is a force total force acting on the whole surface of an inclined surface it is acting on the whole inclined surface that is f is equals to rho g a into h bar so where rho is a density of an fluid g is a gravitational constant a is a area of an surface and h bar is a distance from the free surface of an liquid to the center of gravity now let us identify the at what distance this center of pressure will be acting or this total pressure will be acting now the 
pressure force on this strip we already know that it is df will be equals to rho g h into da where h is equals to y sin theta so already we have derived from the sin theta relation so i have i will replace this h as in a y sin theta that is rho g by sin theta into da now the moment of the force that is a momentum of force df about oo from this oo with respect to this oo it will be equals to df into yu that will be equals to df already we know that it is a rho g yu sin theta into da into y so then the final equation will be rho g sin theta y square divided by sorry into a it is a rho g sin theta y square da now the sum of momentum of all such forces with respect to oo that is sum of momentum of all such forces about oo will be equals to that is integration of this one integration of this equation this is a momentum with respect to oo now the all forces will be about oo axis will be equals to integration of rho g sin theta y square into da so then the equation will becomes the rho, rho g sin theta i will take it outside the the left out equation will be integration of y square sin into da so that is rho g sin theta integration of y square da now but we all know that we know that the y square into da is a momentum of inertia of the surface about oo axis that is oo line that is it is given by i not now i will replace this one this equation the sum of momentum of all the forces about oo axis or oo line will be equals to just replace this y square divided da into i so that will be equals to rho g sin theta into i not or i not is nothing but the momentum of inertia about the surface oo now the momentum of total force the momentum of total force about oo line or oo axis is given by f into y star what is the y star it is the distance from the center of pressure to the oo plane oo surface and it is a force and here is the force which is acting here you can see this one this is a force acting at the center of pressure now where y bar y bar is a distance from the center of pressure to the oo here you can see this one y star okay y star is the distance of center of pressure from the oo line now equating the two values given by the equation that is f will be equals to y star that will be equals to we have already calculated the sum of all the momentum forces that will be rho g sin theta into i so i can write i can get y is equals to that is y is equals to rho g sin theta into i not divided by f this is a force so now y star we have identified since we know that y star will be equals to from the sin theta relation y star will be equals to h by sin theta and f is equals to rho g a h bar let us substitute all these thing in this equation and by using a law of parallel or theorem of parallel axis by the theorem parallel axis theorem we know that i g is equals to a square y bar it is a a bar square i g plus a bar y square that is a it is a momentum of inertia with i g is a momentum of inertia with respect to the point at which the axis is going to pass through the center of gravity the i not is a momentum of inertia with respect to o o plane and the i g is the momentum of inertia with respect to the axis which is passing through the center of gravity so that's why i have i have taken this uh, uh, g i g okay now substituting these value that is a uh, y star value as well as this i value and force value so this is a y star value this is a force value and this is a i not value so this is already i have defined so let us substitute in this main equation and if you equate it if you equate it you will get h star will be equals to sin square theta divided by h bar into i g plus a y bar square again if you simplify it from the sin theta relation 
h bar divided by y bar is equals to sin theta so from sin theta relation and from that y bar is equals to h bar sin theta so now if you substitute all this equation that is a y bar equation you will get h star will be equals to sin square theta divided by a h bar that is ig plus a into h bar square divided by sin square theta therefore if you simplify all this thing after simplifying this one the final equation we get it that is h will be equals or sorry h star will be equals to that is the point where the center of pressure will be acting will be equals to that is ig sin square theta divided by a into h bar plus h bar where h bar is the distance from the free surface of an liquid to center of gravity ig it is the momentum of inertia with respect to the axis which is passing through the center of gravity and sin theta it is a angle of inclination theta is a angle of inclination and a is a area of this surface and this h star it is independent of in a liquid in which it is submerged means there is no uh, dependency on the liquid in whatever liquid it might be so the h star equation will be constant this is a h star equation this is a standard h star equation that is a the distance or it is a point at which the center of pressure will be acting so hope this steps are clear to you people and as i said please follow the steps whatever i'm uh, explained all the steps and the same thing you need to write it in your examination and in exams these questions either vertical plane sub immersed in the liquid and inclined plane so these are the two derivations which will be repeatedly asked in the examination for 10 marks along with the definition of center of pressure and the total pressure and these definition will be asked for two marks one one marks for each definition and remaining eight or 10 marks will be allotted for this derivations so if the derivation is asked on the inclined means the numericals will be asked on the horizontal vertical plane if the derivation if vertical plane is asked so then the the numerical will be on inclined plane surface if you cross check all the numeric all the question papers definitely these derivation and the numericals on these topic will be asked in each and every year so this is a second part that is a second section of in a module 1 and uh, uh, this is a table which i have given you to know the different center uh, center of gravity area and momentum of inertia so because of in the equation we come across the momentum of inertia i will get it for different uh, planes different surfaces so i have mentioned triangle rectangle circular trapezoid because the same on based on these surfaces on based on these arbitrary shapes only you will get the numericals so like uh, the circular plane which is immersed in a liquid at so and so height so they will give so again you have to calculate center of gravity you need to identify momentum of inertia so that this table will be very much useful for you people so for those who are not following just take a screenshot in this one uh, sheet you will complete answers uh, area center of gravity momentum of inertia and momentum of inertia with respect to base i have clearly given along with the figures so okay my dear students so we have done with an uh, two important derivation one in this session and another one was in a previous session so these definitions are very much important so please go through the videos once and uh, note down the, all the steps and uh, try to practice the same uh, uh, or the try to calculate on your or try to do the derivation on your own and still if you are finding any difficulties while understanding these derivation please do comment it in a comment box so that i can try to convey or try to explain you in a better way so please do share these videos to your friends and groups so that even that will be very much useful to them also click on subscribe button and press the bell icon to get updates from all academy